Let's write the structural formula for pentyne. So the molecular formula for pentyne, that's C5H8. But that doesn't really tell us the arrangement of the atoms. So for that, we need the structural formula. So when we look at the name pentyne, it ends in Y-N-E. That tells us that we're going to have an alkyne. We're going to have a triple bond. The pent, pent tells us that the longest chain of carbons, that's going to be five. So we're going to have five carbons, and we're going to have a triple bond. So let's put up five carbons. So this is our longest chain. And right now this is pentane because everything's single bonded. Let's number the chain. So the question is, where do we put the triple bond? There are a few places we could put it. For example, we could put it right here between these two carbons, or we could put it right here. Let's put a triple bond off of the first carbon here. So these two carbons are triple bonded, but carbon can only be bonded to four things. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's get rid of these hydrogens here. Each one of these lines goes to a hydrogen atom. This carbon here, we also need to get rid of the hydrogens so it only has four bonds. So this would be the formula for pentyne. We would call this one pentyne because the triple bond is on the first carbon. If the triple bond was on the second carbon, like this, and here we need to move these carbons so this carbon has four bonds and then this carbon only has four bonds. This would be called two pentyne because the triple bond is on the second carbon. So when you see the name pentyne, you don't know really whether it's on the first or the second carbon. So it could be one pentyne or two pentyne, for example. So that's it. That's the structural formula for pentyne. If you wanted the chemical formula, that would be the C5H8. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.